أرسلناك إلا رحمة للعالمين. Today, insha Allah, we will study about a woman called Rayhana bint Zaid, رضي الله عنها. She was amongst the prisoners and had become a widow at that time of the execution of Banu Qurayza's men as a result of treachery. So the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, took her under his custody and she became his milk al yameen that means a female slave. She originally belonged to the Jewish tribe of Banu Nadir and she was previously married to Al-Hakim who belonged to the tribe of Banu Qurayza. In 627, the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, defeated the army of Banu Qurayza after a siege that lasted for 25 days. All the men belonging to Banu Qurayza tribe were executed on the charge of treason and the women and children were enslaved by the Muslims and Rayhana radiallahu anha was one of them. Who is Milk al Yameen? This name is given to female slaves in Arabic. When Islam was revealed to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, slavery was a worldwide common social phenomena. They are referred to those who were taken as captives during conquests and subsequently became slaves or those who were descendants of slaves. It was a war custom in the past to take men and women as captives and then turn them into slaves. Islam did not initiate it. Rather, it was something in practice long ago before the advent of Islam. However, Islam laid down rules which would eventually lead to eliminating the practice of slavery. Not only that, Islam also ordered a Muslim man to treat the slave woman in every respect. She was supposed to be well-fed, clothed, and given due protection. In the family environment, a slave woman had the opportunity to learn about Islam and was free to accept it or reject it. She also had the chance to earn her freedom so she could be ransomed. This is what happened to Rayhana radiallahu anha. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam offered her to embrace Islam. Upon her acceptance of Islam, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam gave her the option to be set free or be married to him. She wanted to be with the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, because of the care and gentleness he had shown her. The details of the life of Rayhana anha are unclear and fairly inadequate. As per some narrations, she passed away in the tenth year after Hijra. She was buried at Jannatul Baqi, the cemetery in Medina where several of the Prophet Wasallam's wives were also buried. With this, we come to the end of today's episode. Jazakallahu khair for listening. Please don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our channel, Zil Nurain. Until next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. أرسلناك إلا رحمة للعالمين